Well, let's not waste any time. Let's just get straight into the episode here. Huh? They went to there? Ah. I remember them being at the way of the, the, that wedding. The princesses? Invitations to every pony in town with the wrong date! Oh boy. Okay. It begins! My little pony, oh my little pony. I used to wonder if friendship could be little pony. Did you all share its magic with me? Big adventure is tons of fun. Leave a heart faithful and strong. Sharing kindness is easy feat. Magic makes it all complete. You have my little pony. You know, you are my very best friend. It's a special occasion, I had to. I just don't like making my voice that deep. But that meant hiring some pony with no experience using a printing press. Really? Oh, I wish there was a way I could go back in time and fix all this. <sighs> Going back in time is old thinking, my friend. Oh, what a fake out. <laughs> I say, I heard that her name was changed recently. Just. Just my friend. Okay. Centuries, really. Centuries, huh? Turns out there's Ah, yes, my flameless fireworks. Flameless. been looking for ways to make sense of the world around me. Science provides explanations of things. Can we know what that experience is? Oh, like it's Venom. <gasps> Can you just make a round shape with his hoofs? By the way, he has a British accent. Like, I'm not Brit. I don't know if it's British, but it's definitely a West European accent. It's a nice touch that he doesn't exactly have a very consistent voice thus far. Oh, uh. Oh, I guess that's me. Uh, if I buy some apples, will you please leave me alone? If that Pegasus was actually him, it's hard to say for certain. He is the big Lebowski ponies. Your incredible tailor. Oh yeah, man. His name is me. Me. <laughs> oh, that definitely sounds like the doctor, all right. What's this word you keep using, man? This is where you keep using, man. It's funny. Wait, what? What is? Is he? Is he the doctor or Sherlock? Is he the Doctor of Sherlock? Seriously, what, what even was that? And just throw the ball straight. Hold on. Straight? Very well. I'll try your straight technique. It just You're joking, right? Do we know what they're all about? The way they're hung Oh, she talked. Octavia talked. She talked. And she totally sounds like the the, the third version. Because you know this episode still has a plot. Come on. This is not funny. Oh no! On my wedding day, some pony's gotta help me. 
Oh, there goes the main sex. Into town? So you'll do it? I used to be the best organizer in all of Honeyville. Really? Two words, winter wrap up. Seriously. If she was so good at planning stuff, why didn't she do what Twilight did in Winter Wrap Up? I'm sorry, what? Well, what writes fan fiction about her being the best planner in Pootyville anyway? I think most people make her Doctor Who's daughter. I mean, seriously. Hey, the flower trio. A broken stem on one of the zinnias. What? Oh, the horror! Really? <laughs> oh my God! You know, you know, this this is FedEx. This must be FedEx, because here is more shipping. It's like first there's the Doctor Derby, and now I have these two. What? 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 My thoughts exactly. What? 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 Who would need to write fan fiction like this? This is supposed to be a parody of the fan fiction. Based on a lie? I'm sorry, Lyra. I couldn't tell you for your own protection. But 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 the legend. Who even writes fan fiction like this? I want to know because I I I probably would actually read it, even though I'm not big on reading. Also, that watch is totally from Pony Maker. Seriously. Fine, but we're gonna talk about this later. That one general was the or whatever pony maker. That watch is totally from that pony maker. Colonel Zoy. Can't remember the guy's name on Deviantart. Besides, Pony Lumen is obviously the superior one. Nah, that can't be good. Eh, what a fake out. <laughs> that non sequitur, though. No one even get the spa twins in this episode. And they still don't sound like they're remotely Japanese. What? 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 Steven Magnet? What? 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 What did you expect, Bugbear? Surely he must have told you about the time he saved me from Flash Freeze Lake? You're Steven Magnet. Oh, I know. I know. The fact that I'm. Okay, seriously, who who even writes fanfiction like this? I mean, this sounds like the Steven Magnet's for like an insert for an OC or something here. I mean, seriously, what? Why? Why? Why Steven Magnet? Why? Why else for an insert for an OC instead of an OC? It, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the wedding is everything. No pressure or anything. Look at that house. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is definitely FedEx. It's got to be FedEx. It's just look at all the shipping. Or friend shipping. They're at least confirmed to be roommates. Thanks, but I'm not sure that 
Now, I am perfectly okay with vinyl being mute. It makes her seem more awesome. I don't know how, but it does. Oh man, that is beautiful. Here comes the drop! Oh man. That, that's beautiful. That is art. That is audio art that I don't even... Wow. Wow, okay, are they actually doing a pony music video? <laughs> they are, aren't they? They're totally doing a pony music video sort of thing here. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's like the writers, they, that's right, the artists, it's like the artists are all, well, with all this pandering, we know exactly which direction this show is going. See? They jumped over the shark plushie. They jumped over it. They jumped, they jumped the shark. They literally jumped the shark. Oh, there, there's a freeze frame bonus coming up, as far as I can tell. I don't know if they're- oh, like, it's Button Mash. And those other ponies from that song, like, Tubs. He just pet- Pipsqueak? I haven't seen him in a long time. What? What? What is that thing doing there, Larson? Where is it? I go back. There it is! Seriously? Seriously, Larson? Seriously, Larson? Seriously? This? This is what you think of us, isn't it? This is what you think of us. Damn it, Larson. I don't say that often, but... Damn it, Larson! What is life? Is it nothing more than the endless search for a cute mark? And what is a cute mark but a constant reminder that we're all only one bugbear attack away from oblivion? And what of the poor gator, flank forever blank, destined to an existential swim down the river of life to an unknowable destiny? These are giving us some of the best moments of the show. Why don't Colgan and Barry Punch get any spotlight? I mean, they're like the next most popular- What- What is Spike do- Okay, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Spike, why? Why? Spike is a main character. He is not a sporty character. He's had his own focus episodes. He's had more focus episodes to himself than Applejack. And the cute Mark Crusaders. If I see those three as well, I am going to be- so upset right now. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Really? And you're not the only one with a secret, you know. You know those expensive ink wording oats you were saving for a special occasion? I cooked them up and ate them. All of them. And wait, that's it. 
My suit has vanished, and this was the only thing <laughs> in my closet. How do I look? Like a million bits. Aww. Great wickering standards. Look at the time. We better get inside. Allons-y. Ah, ah, ah. He, he said the line. Fear, Panky, my dear. It's Steven Magnet's moustache to the rescue. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Wow, that is quite the throwback. <laughs> oh, thanks, buddy. Well, is every pony here? Oh, set, Mayor! Ah, this episode in a nutshell. Pony is the star of their own story. Oh, the dramatic irony. Oh, no, they did put their crusaders in. Larson! Wait, wait. Wait, is it, is it implying that, that the changeling plays a smaller role than any of the other ponies there? <laughs> He does grip all of my steps. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, interesting. So it was love that triggered them? Huh, how convenient. Yeah, that is totally the doctor. Tenth doctor. Definitely the 10th Doctor. 10th or 11th, I'm honestly not entirely sure. They had really similar personalities. Probably the 10th, though, because he was less pretentious. Damn it, Larsa! So, that was the episode. It's, it's a lot of of nonsense, I've got to say. It's it, it, it's not really pandering as far as I'm aware, but it's like it's like parroting the fan base, like that one episode of Powerpuff Girls that starts out like uh, they're they're talking about previous episodes, but then it suddenly starts to go into things that never actually happened. And it's funny because they also have this part where the mayor says that the professor made a pickle, giant pickle, and they said that definitely didn't happen. But but it was called a, a City of Clipsville. If you haven't seen it, you should probably check it out. It, it's basically like Craig McCracken got tired of the fans shipping the Rowdy of Boys with the Powerpuff Girls. And yeah, that's just not a thing that you can just stop the fans from doing by pointing out how ridiculous it is. In fact, you know, there is such a thing as a crack ship, Craig McCracken. I don't think you're watching this, but it needs to be said. I mean, also, there's a bunch of little kids that are doing these ships, and... Obviously, if they're not little kids, they don't exactly... They're not exactly the brightest bunch either way, but... You know, it's, it's, it's all in good fun. It's harmless. It's just, you can't get mad at your fan base for doing what they do. I, I, I don't know if he got mad or what. He, he was sick of it, apparently. Now, as for this episode, yeah, this was a really good episode. But, see, the thing about this all being a parody is that it's still technically canon. Which means that... All of those ships are at least friendship canon now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know about the Dr. Rose, because he's definitely the doctor now. There There's no doubt about him being the doctor now. Because I not only was there that one bit with Rose, but now now we get this. He's this inventor with all this advanced technology and this personality that totally mirrors like the tenth doctor. <laughs> the, that accent, you know, it's he's the doctor now. And um 
As far as I'm aware, Derpy does have an official name, but it wasn't mentioned in the episode. And, you know, I, the name is stupid anyway. It, it's Muffins. I, I, I'm sorry, that's not an appropriate name for the character. Because she likes Muffins. That, that's all there is to it. She, she likes Muffins. Why call her Muffins? It doesn't make any sense. I'm... I don't know if that's really her official name or not, but I, I think I'd prefer her going nameless for the time being than her calling being called Muffins. And, um, yeah, like I said before, the vinyl scratch, I actually prefer her view. It it's, gives her a little bad asterisk, just the way that she acts. It's, it's hilarious, I've, I've got to say. And, um... Octavia, she actually had lines in this episode, and she sounds just like the fan version, so... Yeah, it, it, it's hard to say that this isn't pandering, because they, they just did so many things that... that just appealed to the fan base very hard, and they didn't even have to do half the things for it to be a parody, yet they did. So, yeah, this was... There's not really much to analyze here, honestly. I, I mean, it, it's it's a bunch of nonsense. They literally jumped the shark. I mean, what, what more can you say that, that it, it's not supposed to make any sense? I mean, there was a changeling at the wedding. A changeling. It had no point in being there. It was just there. I mean, Stephen Magnet but it was best friends. <laughs> well, that's cranky. I, I'm sorry that there, there's no logic in it. <laughs> Other than he's supposed to be an XP for an OC in a fanfic. Because that that's what it sounds like to me, is that he's an XP for an OC. But, yeah, I'm... I'm Five out of five. It was a really good episode. Oh yeah, something I completely forgot about is that the third Doctor, he was the one that did the tinkering with the gadgets, which was like what Doctor Who was doing at near the beginning of the episode. So yeah, there, there's like the third Doctor, Crystal, the fourth Doctor, Crystal, the tenth Doctor... And that's pretty much it, as far as I can tell.